So this is an Arduino pH meter that I made. It uh, measures pH and can use other probes like EKGs, electrocardiograms. And so that's why I'm calling it a lab interface. Well, anyway, so it's set up with two-point calibration for pH right now. So basically what happens is I press this button to enter calibration mode. So now it says pH 7 set to 1.0. You'll notice this number is fluctuating. I've already set it to 1. Right now the probe is in a storage solution. So that will uh, take a reading so that you have a reference because pH 7 is set to 1. It's just an arbitrary voltage. Then press the red button and what that does is you put it in a pH 4 solution, a buffer, and you wait for that number to stabilize. Once that's stable you can press this black one to view the pH. So what's happening is that the reason it's showing negative 11, 11.5, right, all that, is because the pH 4 buffer is 1 and the voltage in buffer, uh, the pH 7 was set to 1, which means that the slope of the graph is a very, very steep. So even the hundredth of a volt fluctuation causes a huge change in pH. Anyway, normally V constant would be about 1.5. So, uh, this is set up with Bluetooth. Right now it's not connected and I'm just running it through a uh, direct connection. And you can see on a serial port what happens. So let me just go back to the initial settings. So, you can see it says lab interface. Press menu to continue. So once you do that, it'll tell you to set the pH 7 to 1. And then once you press the red button, it'll set the VCON, which is the constant at pH 4. Now the reason it needs a constant is because the pH amplifier that comes with the probe gives out a linear change according to pH, even though pH is a logarithmic function. Um, so then you need one, two points to create a slope and an intercept. I'm using 1 comma 7, 1 volt for pH 7, which was why you had to set it to 1 in the pH 7 buffer, and then some arbitrary value alpha for pH 4. So alpha is your constant, so in the equation alpha is a constant that is acquired by pressing the red button. When you press the red button it sets that constant and then it uses the live signal to calculate pH. So then you can go to the next button and it'll actually display all the pHs. So one cool feature I added into it is after you've pressed all those buttons, if you press the red button one more time, it goes into pause mode, but it also gives you um, a calibration guide and a button guide. See, it'll tell you the leftmost black button is the menu, the middle red is the VCon set, the rightmost black is the pH calculate button, then the calibration guide. Place, a, place the probe in the pH 7 buffer and use a knob to adjust volt in to 1, that's the raw voltage. Then press, place the probe in pH 4 buffer and press the red button to set VCON. That's, as I said, the voltage at pH 4. Then once VCON is stable, press the black button to begin measuring pH. And then it gives you both the VCON, the VN, and the pH. So, um, the code for this looks it's pretty simple um, basically what's happening is that it's setting up booleans so that you can use the uh, momentary switches as toggle switches so as you can see here I have three booleans menu on an EKG EKG was just a leftover from the prototype programs so then it'll give you different uh, options depending on the button set because I have three booleans, I can have nine combinations. Right now I'm only using four combinations. So that gives me th uh, five other possible programs that I could use depending on the buttons. For example, I could set it so that when only the last two buttons are pressed, then it goes into another program that will display a graphical, uh, that will graphically display the data. That you probably couldn't use the Arduino programming, but uh, if I connected it to Python, then I could run that, or Java. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. The insides are really messy. 
wire management is difficult on this because of how compact it is. Um, <clears throat> the Arduino I'm using is an Uno, but it will also work with a micro. It has a 9 volt battery inside which it drains quite quickly. I think it's because the Arduino's voltage regulator is not very good. So it's running, it's taking only 5 volts, well it's taking 9 volts but it's using only 5 volts of that so you're losing almost half of your voltage there. Anyway, so those run out in about a day if you're using it. Um, I hope to set up more sensors, like there was an O2 sensor, and I think there was a nitrate sensor too. So those would be useful in aquaponics or hydroponics, and yeah. Okay, thank you for watching.